Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work. I'm back with a new tutorial about e-commerce. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to see how to make your uh, e-commerce product catalog better uh, thanks to GPT for Sheets. So the first thing I'll do is open GPT for Sheets. Um, and we have a series of operations that we're going to do. Uh, first, we're going to uh, write better descriptions then categorize products, then extract product attributes, reformat, and then extract uh, data from images. So the first thing that we are going to do is to write better descriptions. Here I have a list of roughly 200 products. Um, they're all coffees. I have the descriptions here. And I've uh, created a, a column that contains SEO keywords that I'd like to include in the description uh, because uh, it's, it's going to make its SEO better. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the uh, bulk AI tool that's called Custom Prompt, the Custom Prompt uh, bulk tool. Um, the first thing I need to do is to set my header name column, uh, row, which is row number two here, column name row. Okay, and I'm going to say, okay, uh, he, here's uh, a product description. And I'm going to insert the description variable so that this will be replaced by this value, row by row. And rewrite the description to include uh, these, the, the following SEO keywords, but uh, preserve the format. Okay, so uh, and now I'm, I need to input the SEO keywords. So I, the, the, I put but preserve the format so that it keeps the little list here and it doesn't deviate too much. Okay, let's let's try it on the first three. Oops, yeah, I need to uh, of course say what I want to what what's the sorry what's the uh, where to put the results. Uh, of the better descriptions. All right. All right, here we go. So you can see that here, Italian instant coffee got included here and gluten-free beverage here. So that's a success. Uh, here, uh, sustainable coffee got included here and artisanal coffee um, got didn't get it. Oh yeah, it actually got included here. All right. Um, so it seems like it works pretty well. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do all rows. So like I said, I have like 200, a bit more than 200 rows. And this should take no longer than a minute. You will see the little progress tracker here. Actually, you can see they're already getting written. Usually it's done 30 by batches of 30. So the cool thing is that it keeps the format, uh, but it includes the new keywords. So this is a really powerful tool for you to rewrite uh, your descriptions or your content more generally with high precision. Okay, we're almost done here. As you can see, it will have taken less than a minute to go through more than 200 descriptions. All right. So let's now move on to the um, next part. Okay. Uh, so in which we are going to categorize products. So I have here descriptions, the same as before, and I want to categorize them. So I'm going to choose a description that contains information. Then the categories are here. So I can just select that and copy it, paste it in here. Okay. And going back to the other tab, put the results in column C category. All right. And this time, just that it doesn't take so much time. I don't want to wait one minute every time. I'm just going to do um, 50. Okay. And a few 
few moments. Yeah, there we go. We've got our categories. Great. All right. Now, the next use case is e-commerce use case is that we are going to extract product attributes. So uh, e-commerce uh, professionals often have their uh, descriptions, but they don't necessarily have all the attributes cleanly separated into their own columns. So for this, we're going to use the extract bulk tool. Um, and I'm going to extract these five things at once if they exist. So I'm going to copy paste all of these here. All right, flavor, packaging, and verifications from each description and put the results into column C to G. All right. Okay, let's go. Of course, um, anytime you do that, I advise to uh, test your uh, prompt on a few rows, like one, two, or three, before running it on many rows. Uh, that will uh, that will prevent you from making a mistake, and only run many rows once you are sure uh, that your configuration is correct. So here, um, so it extracted the vanilla uh, flavor, uh, the correct uh, packaging, and gluten-free. It didn't extract the country or region, although it could have maybe said Italy, Italy, but, but it's true, it doesn't really say that the, it, the region is Italy or the country is Italy. In this case, however, it extracted France. Let's just put this little bar here so that we can scroll. Yeah, um, France, and then uh, the flavor is Caramel and nuts, yeah. Packaging is correct and it's organic. Okay. All right, so this is pretty powerful. You could give some specific extractions if you wanted uh, to disambiguate or give some proper formatting instructions, but uh, there we go. You've got your 50 uh, rows of extracted product attributes. All right, next use case, we are going to reformat these descriptions into HTML so that you could include them directly in your website very easily. So for this, I'm going to use the reformat tool. Again, I choose a description column and I will say I want to reformat, reformat it to HTML. I'm gonna put it into the HTML description column. And this one, just I wanna try it first because I'm not so sure about my configuration. So let's run three rows. All right, so as you can see, this one is pretty good, uh, but this one included a lot of boilerplate that I do not, I do not want, and this one is pretty good as well. Um, so I'm going to add some reformatting instructions here and say, um, ensure that the content is wrapped into a div. Uh, do not add any boilerplate, any other boilerplate around it. All right, let's try this one again. Just I'm gonna try it once. See if it changes anything. All right, so it's much better, but it did add this little HTML here, uh, which I do not want. So uh, when you, this happens because um, uh, the AI think that you want to include this in a code block. And so it names the language before. Uh, so I'm going to add another instruction. Uh, do not name the HTML language when you start. This is not for a code block. All right, let's try again. All right, so this looks 
very good to me. This I, c I could copy paste this directly into my website. Let's run it again for the first uh, five just to make sure it works. Yeah, looks perfect. So now uh, if I wanted to, I could run it on more. Okay, um, this is great. Now I want to uh, extract data from images. So in this case, I have these images here. Um, so these are public URLs. Oh, I probably need to remove this one, it's empty. And I will, uh, I w so I've just added this column here so you can visualize the, the image. Um, but the extraction is made from the URL itself. So I'm going to use the uh, prompt images tool and I've prepared the prompt here. So paste it here. I choose the image URL column. Be careful, I cannot extract from an actual image. It needs to be a URL. And put the results into the uh, coffee brand column. All right, so let's try it on the first five. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, and what's interesting is this one actually gave me two brands. Let me check this out a little bit. And well, it's it's funny because actually there is two brands here, so it's correct. There are actually maybe four, uh, three brands because this third package is maybe a third brand, but you cannot see it, so it only extracted two. But this looks uh, like it works pretty well um, on this one. Actually, there's many packages, but there's only one brand, so it was correct. Okay, let's continue. Let's do a few more. Okay, so this one again, even though there is many uh, boxes here, it there's only one brand, which was correctly found. Um, Looks like this one didn't find the, the brand, which is a bit weird. But anyway, could probably retry it and then it would work. And yeah, I guess, so the images API, the vision API works a little bit less well um, than the text API. You might have to retry a few. Uh, so I could just like click retry here and hopefully it works this time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, so this is the end of this demo. Uh, I hope you like it. And uh, please do not hesitate to ask questions uh, or comments uh, or uh, yeah, post comments, uh, say if you liked or disliked it uh, under the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back soon with some new tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.